fair warning some of this is gonna be noisy because I got an old cheap camera but I gotta put this video up because I'm finally letting go of my old 2004 Chevy Silverado 1500 as you can see I changed out the rear tail light lenses because they were old and delaminated it didn't look very good uh, it has a ton of package on it bed liner has a locking ARE tonneau cover and if you look down this side here you'll see that the panels are nice and smooth there's no dings in it I'm going to try to squeeze between the brick wall and the truck and on the windows I have these little rain guards so you can open the back window or drop this window down a little bit and have some ventilation when it's raining you don't get any rain in your vehicle non-smoking vehicle uh, got the turn signals in the mirrors as well as the tail lights coming around the front you can see that the grill is in mint condition the headlight lenses are clear and the tonneau cover not not tonneau cover you can see the balance at the bottom is good no dents or dings in the bumper I got the recovery hooks up there at the front which usually I guess nowadays only come on a four-wheel drive in case you go off the road and it's got the uh, fog lamps in it let's see we'll walk down this side here let's take a look at the tires you can see the tire tread there is more than adequate uh, I just bought those tires about six months ago it's a full complete matching set of Michelin's not used tires, brand new tires, nearly a thousand dollars for the set. But, you know, I had no plans of selling this vehicle, but I ran across that Ford truck there and decided that ten inches was just way too good of a deal to pass up. Let's take a quick look at the inside. Uh, the windows are tinted at the front and they're legal. I brought the key out. Yeah, I did. And I have both keys. I still got the little tag from when I bought it from a dealer. I am the second owner of this vehicle. Like I said, there's no flies on here, but I just, I just ran one off. Uh, the driver had somewhere on it as any vehicle with 124,000 miles. I'll show you the passenger seat over here. You see how it has the wrinkles and the cracks in it, little gentle, gentle wrinkles and cracks. Oh, the rest of it's perfect. And this one right here says, you know, I, this is the driver's seat that started cracking, breaking right here. And so I just replaced the whole seat cover. If you look at the steering wheel, you can see all the controls radio and on star and information panel uh, this has on star and xm satellite i'm going to take it off the truck so video so that's what we're going to do the uh, carpet's in perfect condition i mean minus a few spots i mean for a 2004 vehicle this thing is it's in really good shape. There we go. Oh yeah, and I have all the paperwork here. Almost every oil change I've done. The original owner's manual. You can see the salesman there that sold it back in 2004. So let's take a look at the inside here. Move my tripod back far enough where I won't knock it over. It has a Bose sound system. It's got maybe six speakers in here. I could turn the radio on for you, but then YouTube might get all upset about the fact that I'm playing music I don't have a license to. License for whatever it's called. Let's see. Got just a little bit of sun coming. Okay. You can see there. It says, blah, blah, blah. Range 30 miles. Buckle seat belt. It has a lot of stuff that you can... Uh, do on it 
I get 21 miles to the gallon. See, look at that average economy of 18.6. If you're driving on the on the highway and you drive it responsibly, you can see. Even recently, had the oil changed. If you drive it responsibly, you get 21 miles to the gallon. I've got intermittent windshield wipers. I think those are Bosch windshield windshield wiper blades. It has the tilt wheel. I have a Revelco theft deterrent system. If they steal this truck, they will never get it to run again unless they strip all, take the motor out, strip all the wiring off of it, go back with a whole new wiring harness. That was not cheap. The AR E cover in the back was about 1500. Bose. So there's two big speakers at the door, there's two speakers there. And then you have, uh, on here you have extra sun shade protection. And then there's more speakers back here. You can see them there. And carpet looks pretty good. And then you got a, oh, sorry. Then you got your cup holder. Yes, sir. Got your cup holder there. And you got your overnight box here. Not really, just a console. And then the glove box is pretty big. Everything works as it's supposed to. You can shut your air off there to this side completely or on dual air. You can put her side on 78 or 80 or just whatever temperature your riding partner needs. And set the other side independently. And with the seat heaters, what is really nice, as you can see it right there, you can heat your butt separately from your back. My back hurts a lot, so I usually heat in the back up and run the air conditioner on high, and it feels pretty good. I, when I was a kid, I used to think those seat heaters were just too much. But now that I'm old and everything hurts, I appreciate a seat heater. You can turn your airbag off. Got a cigarette lighter. When was the last time you saw one of those? That works. Another device hookup. And let's see. But right back here. I can't see what I'm doing. I'm just kind of winging it. There's another device deal there. And then of course, your two AC vents for the back people. Am I going too fast? And back windows. You can see right there. You flip that little lever and you open the back windows up. Got some hand holders, whatever they're called, and a thing to hang your shirt. You know, the ceiling has a, uh, oh, you don't push it. <laughs> it only comes up when you open the doors. Oh, wait a minute. There it is. I had the button turned off from. Uh, the dash has some minimal pitting and scratching in it. You see along there. But overall, it's really in good shape. Really in good shape. And a place up here to put your garage door opener, or you can put your handgun up there. Uh, I don't know what else to tell you. Let's see if we can. There's a quick dose. Maybe they won't. Maybe they won't get in trouble for playing the radio a little bit. Uh, don't know what else to cover. And your dimmer, to dim your dash, or turn it lights all the way off at night, depending on how you like to drive on the interior. Auto headlights. And then if you look up here, there's a sensor for it. I usually just keep a, a, a hanky on top of that sensor. I don't know if I'm seeing it or not. There it is. And then my lights stay on all the time, because I like to be seeing. Oh yeah, let's see the mileage. Mileage is... Oh, that, let's see, my finger over that, 124,395, the flash goes on, it kind of blurs it out, and again, this is an LT, has a lot of stuff on it for an older vehicle, um, I guess that just about covers it, you probably want to, when you get it, the only thing I haven't done is maybe have the hood re-cleared, 
and the roof. The paint is good, but the clear is starting to get old. Yeah, that's about it. Oh, license inspected. Let's see, I did that recently. So it's not like I was getting rid of the truck because there's some issues. I spent uh, nearly a thousand dollars on the tires. The battery in here was uh, 160 bucks. I, I don't remember everything I've done on it, but I've kept this in good shape because I like to fish and I don't like to walk. Don't want my truck breaking down on me. But uh, again, the only reason I'm selling it is because I run across that deal on the new Ford pickup. And my wife says I can't have two cars in the driveway. And she says it's a hassle. And I understand it is kind of a hassle. So I'm going to let it go. My email is going to be on my account, my YouTube page. Or you can ask me about it and I can private message you. And we can talk about it. I will not deliver it. I will not pick you up at the train station. So if you're looking for a good 2004 Chevy Silverado 1500, let me know. Thank y'all.